Dude, you are an individualized expression of God. You cannot do anything to lose God's love for you, dude. God experiences life through you. God experiences life through everything. And you are an integral part of the experience of life for the force that creates all of us. The energy that beats your heart, the energy that breathes in your lungs, the energy that moves your blood, the energy that thinks in your mind, dude. Where do you get thoughts from? How am I able to speak right now? How are we able to formulate ideas and thoughts and comprehend concepts and other people's ideas and thoughts? How are we able to communicate? How is there light in your eyes? There's light in our eyes, dude. They shine. They shine when somebody is full of life. You see it. And they dull out when they're dead of life. When you look at like drug addicts and stuff, you just see the death in their eyes and their dyingness. And when you see somebody who is sparked and alive, you see the light in their eyes and the love and the shine. That's a God force, man. That's an unconditionally loving presence inside of you, loving you, breathing you, moving you forward, calling you to your greatness, inspiring you to reach for more. When we feel crappy, we aren't reaching for the moreness that's available. And when we feel awesome, we're living for that moreness. We are the, we're living in that moreness. Man, there's, there is no separate from it. You can't be separate from it. You can cut yourself off from it and feel crappy. You know, you can judge everything and feel crappy. But you're the only one doing that. God doesn't do that. God never separates itself from us. Never has. That whole fall from the Garden of Eden thing, that was all illusion. That was all in our minds. That was all just an experience that we thought we were having. In truth, we've never left the Garden of Eden, dude. In truth, we've always been at home. We've always been at home in the light and the love of God. And the sooner that you, me, everyone around us wakes up to this, remembers this, then the quicker that we'll reach peace on earth and all that. We will have peace on earth in our lifetime because more and more people are coming to remember the fact that they're connected with the source of all of life. That the source of all of life never disconnected from us. And that we've just been sleeping on the fact that it's living within us. And now we're all remembering the fact that it's living within us. And we're all waking up to that remembrance. And our lives are changing because of it. That's why you see people who are transforming their lives by implementing the principles of higher consciousness. Oh, if I think on point, if I feel on purpose, then my life will move in a desired direction. If I think and feel in a desired direction, then that's where my life will go. And if I just allow the haphazardness of the world to push me around, then my life will reflect that. And you see more people taking their life by the reins, dude. <laughs> And their lives are changing for the better because of it. Eyes on the prize, I never wane. Get the bull by the reins. If you want it, be the change. Like Gandhi and MLK. We love the change system. We acknowledge power and wisdom. Say we are at this microphone. We love to let it be known. Hey, ladies, stay up. Take the power back and let them react to the show. Let's go to the show. Check it out. So, dude, I implore you, dude, I call for you, please, wake up, remember, let go of that separation stuff, that's illusion, man, it's not the reality of what's going on, the truth is uni unity, the truth is that we're all connected, the truth is that there's no such thing as separation, and any perceived separation is part of the illusion, there's only the one consciousness, and the one consciousness is expressed in, as, and through everything, the one consciousness is the only begotten son of God, God is... God's perfect love, God is perfect awareness, pure light, right? And then that pure light begots a son. And that son is the Christ consciousness. And the Christ consciousness is expressing itself in, as, and through everything. The only begotten son is the Christ consciousness. And Jesus the human came to earth to live that awareness of the full expression of that Christ consciousness. And being aware that, dude, we are all the full expression of this. You know, when I say I, I speak for the Father, you know, and when you say I, you speak for the Father. So when you say I am limited, I am separate, I am crappy, I cannot do it, then you're limiting the unlimitedness of yourself. And that's why it feels shitty, dude. And when you say I am unlimited, I am wonderful, I feel great. I am the best of everything. And you feel that joy inside? That is you reflecting the true nature of yourself, the true nature of God within you. And 
that is how your life will change, dude. It's by acknowledging that all the time and living from that awareness and doing everything that you can do to stay focused on that aspect of yourself all the time. That's our invitation, man. Anything else that we do besides that is like, I don't know. In my opinion, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. In my opinion, only the God stuff matters. Only staying focused on your unlimited nature matters. Because we've done the limitation stuff for years. So what am I going to do, man? Am I going to go to work and make lattes? Maybe, if it feeds my soul. As long as I do it from the heart. As long as I center myself in my heart first. And I am living from the unconditionally loving, the unlimited God aspect of myself. If I'm living from that space, then it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. Everything I'm doing is an expression of that. And if I want to go make lattes from that space, word, let's do that, man. And I might. Who knows? If I want to go skate from that space, word, that's all the better. I will probably be a fearless skateboarder in that space, and I won't bail every trick I try. I'll stick everything, and you'll probably roll away more often. So the offer's on the table, dude. God stuff's available. Reach for the heavens, and if you fall short, you'll land on a star.